From Television City in Hollywood, this is the new $25,000 Pyramid. Today's special guests, Linda Kelsey and from Three's Company, Richard Klein. Your host is Dick Clark. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Thank you, Jack Clark. Thank you very, very much. A happy Independence Day, 4th of July to you and yours, and I'm glad that you had a little time to spend part of your Monday with us. You're going to, oh, what are you going to, roast hot dogs this afternoon, Linda, or do something? You're going to have a picnic or anything in honor of the 4th sure, of July? Sure, potato salad, the whole works. You do that sort of thing? Sure. You know where we spend it? We get all the kids together, and we have a barbecue, and we get on a little boat and go out on the lake, and they shoot the fireworks over your head. If you're lucky, they don't hit you, but it's a really quite it's an extraordinary nice. sight. Where are you going to spend your time, Sharon? Uh, I'm going to uh, go visit my parents up in Portland, Oregon. Oh, terrific. Mm -hmm. well, Should be pretty this time I of year. I hope it's a lovely stay for you. This is Sharon Martin, by the way, Linda, and she won some money yesterday. Not a lot of money. What, about 1500 or so? 1550 yes. Oh, you're on your way. Richard, we welcome you back, sir. Thank you, Dick. You met your partner? This uh, yeah. is Janet Russell. Hi, Janet. Janet, Hello. where are you from? What are you doing? I'm from San Diego. I'm a voice teacher for Singer's Workshop. Well, you know what we're going to have to do to the voice teacher? We're going to have to get you to speak up loud and clear because okay. we want to hear you straight through here. Folks, in the winner's circle, you try for $10,000 the first time around and $25,000 the second time. Linda, this is different. Uh, the last time you were here, I don't think we had the 7-Eleven. It no. plays in the first game. It might happen in your round. It could happen in Richard's. In any case, when it happens, I'll explain it to you. Here are the subjects for your consideration. We have, as he rests, the watering hole, two-faced, the taster tester, here it is. Notice the spelling on that one and pigging out. What would you like, Linda? What would you like? Two-faced. Two-faced it is. And you've now done oh, what I was right. about to explain at an earlier time. <laughs> Sharon, as you know, um, choice is here if you feel lucky and, and real bright and on your toes. If you get seven out of seven answers, we give your partner an $1,100 bonus. The downside of this, that is, if you goof it up or miss one, we don't give you anything. If you want to protect it, we'll give you $50 an answer. What would you like to do? Let's go for it. Going to get it all. Sure, all right. Let's do it. Seven out of seven will be an $1,100 bonus. And Linda Kelsey, you should describe these things mm -hmm. that have two sides. Okay. Things that have two sides. Ready? Go. Uh, you open and close. A you, door. Uh, no, it has curtains over it. A window. Mm -hmm. uh, you flip. Uh, a coin. Heads or tails. Uh -huh. Not an avenue, but a street. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Germany, west and east, the city, this divided Berlin. into two. Um, there are two sides to this when you disagree. Argument. Uh -huh. uh, not the Senate, but the, the whole assembly, thing is the all together. Yes. Oh, and if, if you say one thing and mean another, you're a... Um, Two-faced. Yeah, but a two-faced person is a... Deceitful. A, hip oh, a hypocrite. Oh, you say Sharon, I'm sorry you didn't get the bonus money, but you did get six points, so that's a good lead. Richard, you have to fight that one. What would you do? We are going to try Here It Is. Here It Is. All right. <coughs> you are to describe for Janet these things that make a noise. Things that make a noise. Ready. Go. Lightning and... Thunder. Oh, it comes from an airplane. It blows up. A bomb. Oh, it's a whirly bird. Helicopter. I do this in the morning. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gargle. Great. <laughs> a laughing... Hyena. Oh, when two cars crash, they have a... Collision. Accident. It, yes. Oh, a oh, bunch of horses coming down on the... Stampede. Really? That's got it. That's there seven points. Very bright. Very bright. Very bright. Seven to six is the score. Sharon, you're only trailing by a point. What would you like? Um, let's try pigging out. All right. These are things associated with a pig. Things associated with a pig. Ready. Go. Uh, picnic. Uh, a ham. Sandwich. Right. <laughs> uh, not slim, but fat. Uh, on the Muppets. Uh, uh, Miss Piggy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the sound he makes. Oink, oink. Uh, he lives in a muddy a pen. Pigsty. Oh. Right. Uh, a male blank pig. A chauvinist. <laughs> uh, uh, what's up, Doc, but not. Um, a pork pig. pig. Yes. You got it. <laughs> I couldn't think of the sound you made. I used to make a little sound, but I couldn't think of it. 
That's a fellow named Mel Blank. He says yeah. that, 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 that. Yes, well, I well, couldn't well. think of the sound Corky <laughs> Pig made. Like <laughs> he did yeah. Yeah. Can, yeah. You, can you do Mel's voices? That's all, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Not as good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a tribute to one of the greatest, greatest voices of radio and television and cartoons, Mel Blank. All right, Janet, uh, what have you elected to take We'd like here? the watering hole, please. You've got it. Describe these bodies of water. Bodies oh, of boy. water. Ready? Go. Okay, this is not the Atlantic, but the... Pacific. Right. And the Mississippi is River. a... Right. And um, a car goes by and splashes you with a... Puddle. Right. And this is a dam that holds water. Another word for a Reservoir. dam. Right. And this is the Panama... Canal. Right. And this is... Uh, the Riviera is on the... Uh, the um, the sea. The it's the kind of sea it Mediterranean? is. Mediterranean? Right. And this is Walden's... Pond. Right. You got it. Thank you. Thank you. A little hesitation about the Mediterranean, I noticed, old fellow. Yes. 14 to 13, you're trailing by a point, Sharon. What have you and Linda decided on? Let's try as he rests. And do you want to give or receive? Receive. Oh. Linda, please describe these things a man takes on his vacation. Things a man takes oh, on yeah. his vacation. Right. Ready? Go. Uh, a Polaroid. Camera. Uh, his tennis. Racket. His uh, black suit. Uh, Tie. With the, uh, very Tuxedo. formal. Uh, he uh, sh uh, goes down the hill on his, he's on the snow. Toboggan, slide, No, sled. two of them, on your feet. S skis. Uh, when you go, not your visa, Master. to a foreign country. Uh, Passport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a book to read, a fiction, is a... Novel. Uh-huh. Uh, this game that everyone plays, it's a... Uh, in a board. Oh, oh what a shame. <laughs> Sharon... This game is going to hang on two words. What was a hypochondriac and backgammon was the last one. Those are the only two you didn't get. It gives your opponent a five-point lead and... Hypocrite. 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 What did I say? Hypochondriac? Hypocrite. Yeah. I'm sorry. I knew it began with an H. Stay back in there. <laughs> you need uh, a point score of 20 in order to win this. Do you want to give or receive? I'd like to give, please. All right. Describe for your partner these things associated with a tongue. Things associated with a ton, we're looking for a 20-point score. Ready? Go. Licking. Right. And not a cat, but a... Mouse. A, no, the... the uh, this Dog. Chait, right. And this is my... Heel. No, the whole thing. A shoe. Yeah. And you do this. This is your... Make a tie. Right. And uh, not, a knife is not dull, but... Sharp. Right. Um... Oh, this is what a doctor puts on your tongue. Tongue depressor. Right. That's got it. That's the 20 points you're looking for. Let's try for $10,000. Well, sir, this is your... Uh, First trip into the winner's circle here, and the first time around we try for $10,000. Janet and Richard, I don't really need to tell either of you anything. You both know the rules. You're very good at it. I do suggest, though, that you watch your partner's face here, because that's, uh, he can't use his hands, but he can brighten his eyes up, and he communicates well that way. Notice now he's going to sit down. Yes. All right. Good luck for $10,000. Here's your first subject. Go. Oh, the popcorn, the usher. Things at the movies, at the theater. A millimeter, an ounce. Measurements. Oh, uh, I'm in charge of the city. My name is Tom Bradley. What the mayor says. Uh, safaris. Things in Africa. Yes. A stiff collar. Things you starch. Things with starch. Yes. Your favorite team. Things you cheer for. Things. Yes! You We haven't had a win like that in a long time. Uh, Let's stretch. Do we let her come back? <laughs> you did that in half the amount of time available. Uh, there are 30 you, seconds left I on the clock. Just I was Are you psychic? No, no. 
Are you rich? Psychos. <laughs> well, you've just won $10,000 in 30 seconds. I, love I mean, it. we've had people win in a little bit less time. The, the all time record, I think, is 20 some odd seconds, almost close 28. to a 28 seconds of record. You were two seconds over the record. And the 28 seconds was set by Billy Crystal, by the way, and oh. his partner. Uh. So in the next round, if you can duplicate that effort, uh, you'll win yourself $25,000. On the other hand, your opponent will have a chance to win her 10. We'll be back a second from now to give it a try. July and a happy fourth before we forget to uh, formally salute you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend. Sharon, you're off to a flying start. Do you realize that at $10,000 in 30 seconds, you are making $20,000 a minute? I beg your pardon, Sharon, I'm giving you the money already and see it's your <laughs> opponent. But she won $20,000 a minute. If you multiply that out times an hour, you are making $1,200,000 an hour. It was like overtime. Now, I mentioned that to the producer. He said, don't tell her she may want an hour's worth. Uh, <laughs> you can win a lot of money here today. We're going to start with the other team in a half a second. Richard, are you shooting Three's Company now? Uh, no. Uh, we start in two weeks. Yeah, so uh, this is really holiday time for you, too. That's right. I will start with you in a second. Sharon, I'm sorry I directed all of that money talk to you. My mind flipped out. You've done very well. You've won $1,550. That's right. Here's your chance for the 10 coming up. We have the entertainers, and I don't know, does that mean uh, the hyphen is there where you really wanted, or just because it was a long word? Does that mean anything? It does mean, does mean something. So it does there's, mean. it's intentional that way. Into the frying pan, let her count down. It's a home. Do you believe in magic? And the mystery seven is that mystery category where we don't tell you what they all have in common. The prize this time, if you get seven out of seven, is a trip for two to Australia. Seven oh. nights in Sydney, Australia. Yeah, down under there. You want to give that a try? Got to try. Ever been there? Never. Oh, boy. All right. You're in for a treat if you get it. Seven out of seven, Richard. Uh, we'll put the 30 seconds up on the clock. Ready? And go. These are my... Cuffs. No, the whole Sleeves. Thing. Oh, on ice. I, 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 uh, Peggy Fleming. Where's ice them? skating. Skates. Yeah. Oh, you make this for uh, pies. Dull. Right. These are my... Pants. Slacks. No, part of my body. Legs. Upper. Thighs. No. Seat. Twist. These. Hips. Thank you. <laughs> oh, silk. Stockings. Oh, I, I knit with... Needles. With the material. Thread. It's called... Yarn. Yes. <laughs> um, a pi pickles are in our... Bat. Oh. I can't believe you said it's this. <laughs> the shimmy. Richard, you got lousy hips I is know. what it is there. <laughs> to put on some more weight. You know, it's, it's just things that roll or are rolled, and you just, that's the one that did you in. You got a good score, but you missed that one extra point. It's six out of seven points there. Janet, stand by, and Linda, which one of these would you like? We like into the frying pan. Okay, describe these things that are fried. Okay. Things that are fried. Ready? Go. Uh, sizzling, the sizzle in the uh, pan. Bacon. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to a, get a hamburger and french fries. Uh, this is Mexican. You fill it with uh, tacos stuff. Uh, in the morning, you have instead of bacon, you Eggs. have uh, um, ham and and sausage. pancakes. Uh, this is uh, um, and onions. It's a meat Liver. and it's yucky. Um, <laughs> not an oyster, but a uh, clam. Yeah. Uh, you fry these. Uh, corn. Uh, corn on the cob. Um, All right, there it is, tied up, six and six. Fry Fritters. Fritters. Corn fritters. Oh, yeah, Good stuff, corn fritters. Mmm, nummy. Yeah. Uh, Sharon, what would you like? Let's try It's a Home. It's a Home it is. Describe these things on a country estate. Things on a country estate. Ready? Go. Uh, he wears a white hat and cooks. The, the chef. Uh, big, long black. Limousine. Uh, your grass your, is your... Lawn. And he serves the drinks. The butler. Yes. Uh, blank pincher, dog. Doberman. Uh, water comes out of Fall, a... A fountain. Yes. Uh, you played on the lawn. Croquet. Yes. That's got it. <laughs> 13 to 6 is the oh, score. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Janet Russell, you've won $10,000. If you win this round, you can try for twenty-five. Oh. What would you like over here? We'd like to believe in magic. All right. Describe for your partner these things associated with magic. Okay. Things associated with magic. Ready. Go. Okay, an ace is part of Cards. a deck of right. And you keep clothes in an old 
Trunk. Right. And this is the bird that's a sign of peace, the olive branch. Doves. Right. And this is a blank link fence. Chain. Right. And this is the magic word that they say. Abracadabra. Over right. And this is the magician who, he's a magician. Um, um, uh, Houdini. A uh, cock, uh, the, uh, the female rooster is a. Hen. Uh, oh, Henning. Doug Henning. I don't know what to say. You got it. All right. Right under the gun. Is there one more? I don't know. What happened there, ladies, just to clarify for any new viewers we have on a holiday, we always pick up people who have never seen us before on a holiday. You started that answer as the buzzer went. You were on the last name, which is the part we'll give you credit for no matter what, so that's why you got credit for it. You are, however, a point behind. Janet, which one of these would you like? Uh, let her count down, please. Let her count down. Do you want to give or receive? I'll give. Okay. Describe these seven-letter words, and you uh, must give us, oh. uh, Linda, the exact word. These always sound hard. It really isn't. It's just... The Just thing I have in common is they have seven letters. Seven letter words. Ready. Go. Uh, the professor is your teacher. Right. And this is, you put it in your tooth. The dentist Ca puts uh, it in. Uh, fill in. Right. And this is a big monkey. A the gorilla. Big, right. Ape. Uh. And this is, um, in the old days, they put you in here to punish you. Uh, the Dungeon. seller. Right. And this is Walt Disney animated. Cartoons. Right. And this is, you give money and it's a ride off to your favorite. A charity. Right. And this is, you put it in a box and wrap it up and take Present. It. It's, Gift, well, it's uh, um, just with brown paper and string. And it's parcel. It's a oh, 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 package. I didn't say package. I said present. Yeah. It's a shame that one point might have turned the trick there. Hey, That's how weird. sorry we're going to feel for you, Janet. I just said you're making a million, two hundred thousand dollars an hour here. <laughs> in order for your opponent there, to return, she must go over to the winner's circle and win $10,000. So the heat is still on over here. Sharon, you want to give or receive? Give, please. Please describe these people whose last names end in E-N. These are people whose last names end in E-N. You need 19. Ready, go. Uh, what's, um, I'm sorry, the Sleeper and New York, New York. Woody Allen. Right. Uh, Barney Miller. Uh, Hal Linden. Yes. Uh, on the Johnny Carson Show, plays the trumpet. Uh, Doc Severinsen. Yes. Uh, married to Carlo Ponte, Italian. And Sophie Lauren. Yes. Uh, her father was Edgar, and he had a... Bergen, Candace Bergen. Yes. Uh, she chopped her mother and father with an axe. Lizzie Borden. You got it. That's the 19 points. Let's go to the winner's circle and buy this thing up. Richard and Sharon and I were just talking about uh, some of the complications of the game. This is not a complication, but we do have a situation here where your opponents won $10,000. Rule of the game says the person who wins the most money at this board, not counting bonus money, that 7-Eleven thing there, comes back tomorrow. That means, Sharon, we've got to win $10,000. It's simple as that. Absolutely. Then it'll be a tie and you'll both be back. Let's do it. For $10,000 on the 4th of July, here's your first subject. Go. The steeple. The Parts of a church. Bunt, lemon meringue. Types of cake. Oh, I, th I, th I think we should have just as many rights as men should have. What well, women's liberation movement would say. Your nose. <laughs> Cotton. What you bite off. Cotton. Things that are soft. Your things nose. you blow. Things that are soft. Things that are fuzzy. Uh, a winner. Things you back. Things that you cheer Go on, for. Please. Next, please. A campground, a revival meeting. Things to do with church, things to do with the fundamentalist movement. A campground. Things with tents. Yes. Uh, marble. Uh, Stones. Uh, sculptor's marble. Things for statues, Italian uh, architecture. Uh, You added five hundred and fifty dollars to your kill. It was a terrific clue, and it got a laugh. And if you put those two together, your nose and cotton, those are things that some people pick. Uh, <laughs> and a winner. And a winner. You can pick a winner, but by then it was yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the other thing was things you chip. And we yeah. lost a little bit of time on the picking yeah. aspect of it. I'm sorry, but you yeah. added up a fair amount of money, a couple of thousand dollars, Not as I bad. recall. We'll check it all out and be right back. All righty. 
Janet, you'll be joining us again tomorrow. You've won $10,000. You're our high score for the day. And just because you're pretty and beautiful and a pretty good player, thank we're going to have you back, Linda. Thank you so much. Richard, we appreciate your help today. And Sharon, you leave us with $2,100. Wonderful. Nice thank to have you, you all with us. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to you. And we'll see you tomorrow for now, Dick Clark. So long. <laughs>